Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout 2. Now, uh, this game just does not want to be recorded apparently. Yes, well, we're still running without choppiness now, but uh, if you've noticed, the, uh, the inventory and everything sort of flickers a little bit and sometimes the frames are not updating. Uh, everything is due to my upgraded uh, recording software, where I'll, I'll update it. Uh, so hopefully further updates will sort this out. They've actually offered me older versions, so yeah, kudos to them. Anyway, let's play Fallout 2, shall we? We're in... Uh, what are we? We're in... Uh, what's it called again? Completely forgot, it's my favorite town. Uh, Modoc, yeah. Well, not favorite town, I guess, but it's very nice. So this this is a farmer family, um, and there's you see a very active old man, and then there's a trick here, sort of. You see a handsome young man, and oh my, a very shapely and seductive-looking woman. Uh, yeah, you can get killed here, or well, the town turned onto you. I'll show you. So let's talk to this guy. The name's Grisham. Welcome to my slaughterhouse. You dropping off or picking up? Hmm. I guess I'm picking up. I'm interested in buying some traveling provisions. I thought this guy had a... had a um, job for me. Ah, of course, of course. Let's see, for traveling. I recommend our world-famous dried ramen strips. One spoil on the road and it's tasty too. Only ten dollars a package. You interested? Sounds good. Give me one package. No, actually not. Can I ask you a few questions? What can I do for you now? I would like... Um, can you tell me a little bit about the slaughterhouse? Not much to tell. I run the slaughterhouses in uh, the slaughterhouse in Modoc. You want something slaughtered, you bring it to me. I'll kill it for you and make it into some of the best jerky you've ever tasted. What about the hides and other parts of the animal? You're quick, aren't you? Well, if you ask, you can retrieve any part of the animal you want. Balthus will usually buy the hides and Rose will buy whatever scraps you don't want. She uses it to make soup and feed her dogs. Can I ask a few more questions? Uh, I see the drought hasn't affected your business yet. Actually, it has kind of helped my business. Nobody has been able to grow sufficient food for the Brahmin, as they are severely culling their herds. But that's just a temporary thing. You have to look at the big picture. With the decline in the Brahmin population, my business can only suffer. Huh. Bye. Oh, there we go. Wait. You look to be, cap to be, to be a capable traveler. I don't suppose you'd be interested in making some money. That depends. <laughs> how much, what I have to do, and most importantly, how much. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not really in that good of a shape because I'm only at 33 HP, but hopefully this is going to work. Sure. Great. Head out to the pastures at night and kill the pack of wild dogs that are attacking my Brahmin. Come back here when you finish the job. Now, I might have to reload here because... Uh, Let's get ready. Uh, this is full, okay. Maybe I should... Maybe I should put this phaser, no. You know, I've been neglecting this phaser, I, I really do. When I'm in, in a pickle, I should really use it. And I'll, I'm also gonna try um, Solix Sister again with these keys. Uh, somebody, once again, I've forgotten, apologies about that. Uh, somebody has suggested that um, I should lock the doors again. Wait, these are armor piercing? I just want the normal ones. These ones. Wow, I've got a lot of them. Not bad. So this will be... Where are they? Where are they coming from? Can't remember. There we go. Uh, let's, let's start it. Because, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of dogs. And if you lose too many Brahmin, the guy will be pissed. And if you lose, you know, a number of them, uh, he will deduct it from your... Wow! 84 for the eyes at this range at night? This is awesome. So yeah, you're trying to lose as few Brahmin as possible. Now these guys will all go for one Brahmin at the beginning, I believe. So let's try to... Nice! Let's try to take out as many as we can. Oh, this is also 5 for a single shot. Well, that's not so good. Oh, well, alright. Let's get in line. Let me just take a sip. Hmm. Oh, I have started my timer, of course. Okay, so which I think they're going for this one. I'm not sure, but when they when they gang up on one and they start attacking, it's not very good. As you can see, the Brahmin are also moving. 
I think for now they won't be attacking, but this might change. Damn, you know what? I need a burst from here and just kill them all. <laughs> that would be awesome. Come on, Stolik, attack him. You have gained 5 karma, wow. 45 hit points for that one, that was not bad. Go for me, stupid dog. No, they're going for the this Brahmin here. Oh, I can't show you because I don't have the cursor now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at them all in a line. <laughs> yeah, go Brahmin, go. Go. Well, these Brahmin can actually move. Quite a lot. The eyes. Oh yeah, because we're closer now. Oh, I didn't kill him, damn it. That's not good. What are you going for? Hmm. Well, this Brahmin down here. Well, I'm not sure I can kill them. Oh, that one's running away. That's okay. I'm not sure I can kill them all. No, where are you going, stupid Brahmin? How many hit points? Only 35. That's not good. Only 62? Come on. Oh, damn. Of course I hit Solik. Fuff. Pete's sake. Yeah, they're gonna kill this Brahmin. Oh, damn it. They've got two attacks each when they're full on APs. Yeah, th this one's gone. God damn it. Oh well. I guess one Brahmin it is. Stupid. Stupid wolves. And stupid Brahmin. There we go. And now they're going for the next one. Oh, no, at least they're, uh, they're not all going for one target now, so that should mi mitigate some of the damage, so to speak. Uh, no, not single. 86, come on. Nice. I need one shot, one kill. 72! <laughs> the blinded animal howls in pain. I don't think so, it just dies. Oh, I love a sniper character. I need to take these. Oh, yeah, I need to take these guys out right now. Come on, Brahmin. Get over to me. Don't, don't go further away. You know, sometimes the Brahmin attack these dogs as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was perfect, yeah. You know, these accidental kills where you actually hit a target you're not intending to is just way too often. Ridiculous. Well, we've lost two Brahmin. <laughs> the hind leg, the foreleg. Let's go for the grunt. Uh, how can I always hit the bloody Brahmin? Come on. Ridiculous. <laughs> Six hit points? Really? I wish Solik would bloody do something. At least they're going for him instead of me. Come on, can I please? <laughs> Super. Brilliant. <laughs> well, this Brahmin is also going. Come on, just kill him. Well, that was something. Before I started this mission, I should have set uh, Solik to charge. But changing combat, you know, rules for NPCs is just a huge bother. That's why I never really bother that much. Right, we just need a one shot. Oh, only 54, that's not good. Let's try going around these bloody Brahmin. How much? 72, that's much better. Nice, there we go. Nice, you've killed one as well. No, you haven't attacked. Me. I do like their attack sound though. Sorry, I'm drinking tea in the meantime. Now let's get rid of this one, which is right in our face. And we're right in its face. Only 12 hit points, that's not good enough. Well, whoa. At least Solik has woken up. So we've, we've lost two Brahmin, is it? Yeah. Almost lost three, but... Oh. Nice. Yep. Excellent. Lots of karma for these dogs. Ow. How are you doing, Solik? Let's see. 33, yeah. Uh, we gotta be careful we don't hit him. What the hell did we hit? 
A dead Brahmin, probably. <sighs> oh, he's running away? Is that it? I don't think so. Come on. Nice. 68 hit points. <laughs> yeah, that one's running away. Excellent. Well, actually, I can use the pistol now, so I don't waste this uh, ammo. But this will be yeah, much more difficult to hit with. Uh, let's do just a single shot. Damn it. Stop running away, stupid dogs. Nice. Let's get a little closer. Excellent. Who goes around with a pistol killing wolves at night? <laughs> Don't you run away from me, you stupid dog. Let's try this. Nice, there we go. You killed all the dogs attacking the brown. Well, damn it. I was hoping for a better result, but, oh well. At least we didn't have to use any uh, stem bags. That would really be a kick in the nuts. Actually, now that I think about it, look at this place. If I just went up here and intercepted them, it would be a much more difficult fight because they would be going for me instead of the Brahmin, I believe. But I think I could have saved more of the Brahmin. Oh well. You lose some, you win some, I guess. I guess the guy will still be uh, happy. We only lost two Brahmin, so it's not too bad. Right, let's go back to the slaughterhouse. Actually, not the slaughterhouse, but the guy's uh, home, which is quite snazzy, I have to say. These, especially these bricks, really add that artistic flair to the whole design of this uh, abode. I knew you'd be able to handle it. Let's see now. I owe you $1,000 for completing the job. Of course, two Brahmin got killed due to your carelessness. At 100 per Brahmin, your reward is 800. Don't even bother to lie about the number of Brahmin killed. I had one of my boys follow you out and watch from a distance. He never said anything about charging me if any Brahmin died. <laughs> Why, you conniving, uh, conniving dried up old coot? Argh, mark my words, this is the last time you get to the best of me. No, nope. thanks, Pops. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, he's being completely fair. I don't mind that at all. It's good money, 800. Uh, I let, let me just save because I don't think he'll uh, appreciate me rummaging through his stuff. You know, in Fallout One, I believe this was oh, okay. Nice first aid. Uh, I believe this was uh, easy. Uh, you know, most of the stuff you just could not steal. Let's read this book. You learn new ways to heal injury. Okay. Um, you know, every everybody actually told you stop touching that, and they attacked you if you tried to actually steal too too many times, or if you actually took something. Uh, but here in Fallout 2, for some reason, they changed this, and I kind of agree. It's more fun just rummaging through everything and taking it. So on very few occasions, you will try to loot something, and the NPC near nearby will stop you. So, oh yeah, these doors in Modoc close by themselves. That's kind of annoying. I remember that. So be careful with this one, even though it says, you know, oh my, a very shapely and seductive-looking woman. Why, hello there, stranger. I'm Miria. What do you do around here? Who, me? Oh yeah, sh sorry, she should have a sort of a Texan accent or something. I do odd jobs here and there. Surely nothing worth talking about. She flutters her eyes at you. You're right, enough talk. Let's get it on. You know I, you know you want it. <laughs> so don't do this because, you know, she doesn't actually want it. And her pops definitely doesn't want it. So you'll be in trouble. Can I ask you a few more questions? If I weren't so bored, I'd say no. So ask away. Oh. Ask away. Um, heard any good rumors? Have you come to the right place? This town is so boring, there's nothing else to do but gossip. And she keeps talking for a while, and sometimes later you're able to get a warden. You mentioned something about Rose? Ah, Rose, the proprietor of Rose's bed and breakfast. Now, you didn't hear it from me, but have you ever wondered why her coop is so well protected? She says it's to protect her chickens from predators. But if you look closely, it looks as if she's trying to keep something 
in rather than out. Plus, who ever heard of chickens laying 12 pound eggs? Wow. Tell me more rumors. What's that? What's this about a mutated Brahmin? It's really strange, but I hear some ranchers say that every once in a while a Brahmin will give birth to a calf with only one head. Talk about weird. Yeah, wow. Tell me about Davin. He's family. I don't spread rumors about my own family. Okay. Let's talk about something else. What can you tell me about the slaughterhouse? Nothing to tell. My family runs a slaughterhouse. You know, this really doesn't work with a female, because I can't do a female voice, obviously, so I'll just stop. People from all around uh, from all around, bring the Brahmin here for slaughter. After they are slaughtered and the meat treated, it is sold to traders who in turn sell it to merchants in various towns. All very boring, if you ask me, so she's just boring, boring, boring. Bye. Alright, so now we can't go, we have to open the doors. Let's go talk to her brother. Um, I don't think she actually has anything. Hi, my name's Davin. I help my father run the slaughterhouse in Modoc. What do you do at the slaughterhouse? Well, I, uh, I mean, I, I supervise and take care of stuff. I'm the owner's son, after all. I'm gonna inherit this place when my dad kicks off. Can I ask you a few questions? I heard rumors about you and the Brahmin. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that before I save. Tell me about your dad. Dad runs the slaughterhouse. He's okay as far as fathers go. A word of advice, if you do any business with him, there's usually more to his business deals than he lets on. Goodbye. Let's, uh, let's save. And let's ask him about that. I heard rumors about you and the Brahmin. It's a lie. I only go out to the barn at night to, uh, make sure everything is locked up, you know? With all the wild animals around and all. Oh, okay, so he doesn't actually attack or something. That would be actually an interesting idea. Can I... What's the time? No, it's one in the morning. I guess if, if they would want me to spot him... I don't know. We, we could try it at, I don't know, 10 in the evening or something. And see if we can actually spot him over here. <laughs> but there's no barn. He's talking about a barn. There's just a, you know... I don't know. I don't know if the door is open somewhere. Probably solid opening doors. Alright. Let's go over here. Oh yeah, there's the barn. Wait. Let's, have I talked to her? Please find Johnny. Oh yeah, okay. Actually, I think this is it here. Yeah. Did it. We need to go over to this little next area of Modoc. Let us do that. Hello, sir. People shouldn't mess with the supernatural. Eh? What are you talking Oh, the ghost farm. Okay. That's alright. So as you can see, these are uh, caravan trailers. This is the barn, but I don't think this actually belongs to the slaughterhouse. Me. Okay, where's the doors here? Yeah. It's quite interesting. I think this is one of the few areas in the game that... Oh, there's a channel there. That actually um, has self-closing doors. And it's rather annoying because you always have to open them. Hey, I'm still growing. I need my sleep. Okay, sorry. What the hell is this? That's a chair? It's a weird-looking chair. Ah, damn it. Close the doors on me. So as you can see, this is the coop she was talking about. She's got dogs, she's got wire fans, she's got... She's actually barricaded the doors, how about that? Now let's go inside. So we can, Rose's bed and breakfast. Welcome to Rose's bed and breakfast. My, aren't you a strapping young man? <laughs> actually, I'm not. I've got a charisma of one, I think. <laughs> so I should probably be completely ugly. What can Rose help you with today? I'm starved. What do you have to eat around here? That's what I like to hear. A growing young boy needs to eat to keep up his strength. And I can tell you I haven't been eating properly. You just sit right down and look at the menu. Brahmin fries, wasteland omelet, water 1000, Brahmin dogs, Cannes burgers, uh, shepherd's stew. Uh, let's eat something. 
Brahmin dog sounds good. She quickly disappears behind the counter and returns with your order. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure, but make it quick, dear. I don't want to keep the other customers waiting. There's no other customers here. Have you ever heard of a gek? Did you say gek? No, I can't say that I have. I have heard of good soup recipe that requires three geckos, but no, I haven't heard anything about a gek. Now, if you don't need anything else, I have other customers to serve. Can I ask a few more questions? I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm quite busy serving customers. Maybe if you ordered something, I'll have time to chat with you between orders. In that case, I'm starving. Let's have some Brahmin fries. Brahmin fries it is, then. We have a contest on who can eat the most Brahmin fries. So far, the record is 36. If you break the record, you don't have to pay the tab for your meal. You look like you'd be able to beat the record with no problem. Are you interested in trying? I think this is based on... Uh, stamina or endurance yeah endurance I'm not so sure I can really do this but I'm so hungry I can probably double that score bring it on oh that's just grand each order consists of 10 pieces I'll have to ask you for the money up front I'll refund it to, uh, as soon as you break the record there'll be 20 please sure Rose takes the money and comes back with a heaping platter of ramen fries. They're not quite what you expected. They appear to be about the size of golf balls, covered in batter and fried in oil to a deep golden brown. You take a tentative bite of one of the fries. These are delicious. You start into the meal with seal. At around the 34th fry, you start to feel the effects of overeating. A crowd has gathered to witness the historic event of the old record being broken. In an attempt to regain your composure, you strike up a conversation with the rose. You pop a fry into your mouth. Don't talk with your mouth full, dear. You swallow. How do you prepare these? If it's not a secret or anything, I know some people back home would love these. Oh, it's no secret. You just dip them in batter, add some salt and fry in grease. You pop another one in your mouth. That really sounds weird, but anyway. How do you prepare the Brahmin meat? It's such a unique texture. You pop yet another one in your mouth. These are good. That's 37! You just broke the record! The crowd cheers! Yay! You feel like you've gotten your second wind and you pop another fry in your mouth. Typo here. I hate this type of typo. You are does not equal your. Damn it. I'm such a Nazi. The, cro the crowd yells, 38! Well, that makes our taste so special is that you have to harvest it while the Brahmin is still alive. What? You just grab the Brahmin by the scrotum and snip four with one cut. You've got to be careful, the Brahmin usually gets riled up th at that point. The 38th Brahmin tidbit must have been going at the speed of light as, as it's suddenly and forcefully propelled from your mouth. Blah. We can't count that last one, but you broke the record in 37. Here's your money back. Congratulations. You feel sick. And we've been poisoned now. <laughs> what, what are these made from? I don't want to know. Alright, so we're poisoned, but hopefully we're not gonna die at 12 hit points. I'm gonna save at any rate. And I'm gonna wait until morning. You can see... You can see my hit points going up and a little down and up and down. Because we're taking damage from poison, but because we fought all the poison without actually taking an antidote, we now have better poison resistance, and because I didn't... 30 poison resistance, that's pretty good. I didn't uh, check it out before, but yeah, this probably went up by a percent, maybe. So that was a pretty cool one. Oh, there's actually a locker here. Hold on. Hmm. Ah, Earl Grey. Such good tea. Mm -hmm. Probably nothing in here, so I'm just not gonna bother checking these. Oh, there's a doggy here. Right. Who's this? Probably a trader, yeah. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. He's a little annoying. But, oh well. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Welcome to Rose's Bed and Breakfast. My name is Rose. I mean, Cornelius. And I run this bed and breakfast. Can I help you? If you run this place, then how come it's called Rose's Bed and Breakfast? Rose is my wife. I named this place after her. Did you know I'm married? Can I ask you more questions? Was I asking you something? Hi, my name's Cornelius. What do you do here? I run this motel. Yep, this place would fall apart if it weren't for me. 
Have you been to the outhouse? Cleanest outhouse you've ever been to. That's my doing. What does having a clean outhouse have to do with running this place? I hear Grisham is trying to marry off his kids. I wonder if Rose wouldn't mind if I got another wife. Hmm, certain words seem to set him off. Rose room running. Don't go to the ghost farm unless you're tired of living. I was sitting on the toilet one day and a big dog climbed out of the sewers, carrying me half to death. Anything else? Have you tried Rose's omelets? They're delicious. I saw Johnny playing by the well with his dog Laddie. What a nice kid. So there we go, there's a clue. Stay away from the chicken coop. I almost lost an arm feeding that thing. Hmm. Okay. Maria is a nice girl. We used to play doctor when she was little. David is a nice kid. I wonder why he doesn't look anything like his father. Huh. Okay. Can I ask you more questions? Who's Rose? Rose is my wife. She runs the kitchen. You won't find a better meal anywhere else. Rose, she's so beautiful. I'm going to marry her someday. I thought you just said Rose is your wife. Can you ask him more questions? I'm interested. No, you need some serious help, old man. You'll help me? That's great. Go beat up Farrell and get my watch back. He probably hit it good. So tear his house apart and look for it. What are you talking about? A while back, I forget when, my best friend of 30, or was it 40 years? Oh, it doesn't matter. What matters is that he stole my precious gold pocket watch. It has been handed down in my family for five, no, six, uh, four generations. Yep, I distinctly remember setting it down on my desk. Then, when I looked at the kitchen table, it was gone. Did you try looking for it on your desk? Yes, yes, yes. I've looked in my sock drawer. It's not there either. I'll keep a lookout for your watch while I'm in town. I have a watch. It was a gold watch. I wonder where I put it. Okay, so this guy is clearly demented. And so we're gonna help him. He gave us a clue about where the uh, lost kid is. Um, and we also got a quest about Pharaoh. This is the outhouse, right? Yeah, this is the outhouse. Can we actually use that? Oh, yes, we can. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to go down there just yet, but... <laughs> there is an overwhelming smell of methane gas down here. One tiny spark would blow this whole sky high. I don't think I really want to be here. Oh no. There's rocks here. Well, we need some dynamite for this. I guess. Oh god, why did we go down there? That's so bad. Okay, this is Farrell's house. Let's go talk to him. He's also got a little quest for us, so let's actually get some... Uh, let's get some HP first. Uh, I, don't, I never really click rest until uh, healed. Because for some reason, uh, when your character gets healed up completely... It still, you know, goes out, goes on for like three or four hours, the resting, so you're actually wasting time, and I kind of don't like that. I didn't steal the watch, so stop coming over here and harassing poor old Farrell. Cornelia says you stole his gold watch. Not again! How many people is Cornelia gonna spend, uh, going to send over to look for his watch? I didn't do it! In fact, I was probably the victim of the same thief. Around the same time his watch disappeared, some of my tools were stolen. I'm sure you don't believe me, so you might as well have a look around. Otherwise, you'll never go away. Well, go on. I think I will have a look around. All right. Let's have a look around. What a nice house you have, Farrell. It's beautiful. Hmm. Lots of rocks. It is absolutely amazing. This is your bedroom. Well, I shouldn't really be such an arrogant bastard, should I? It's just a normal little house, post-apocalyptic house. Well, there's nothing here, so... Well, let's talk to him again. Now what? What can you tell me about Modoc? Modoc is a small community of farmers and ranchers. We supply most of the food for the surrounding towns and cities by trading our crops for various essentials. It's actually a very nice arrangement. However, this could all change with the drought. 
We can barely keep ourselves fed, let alone have surplus to trade. Can I ask you more? What are you doing around here? Well, I mostly putter around in the garden trying to make those damn plants grow without water. I can't do that now because something big has moved in and I can't seem to get rid of it. And to top it all off, nobody will help me because they think I stole Cornelius' gold watch. I'll be happy I'll be happy to help. That would be wonderful. I can't thank you enough. My garden is a little ways east of here. Come with me. I'll show you. So as you can see, lots of these missions don't actually give you the time to say, no, wait, I don't want to go just yet. So it's kind of, you have to know in advance, especially with those Brahmin, because once you start it, and if you haven't saved at any reasonable point, it's, it's just going to be annoying because you're going to either die or lose a lot of Brahmin. There's a spear here, I think. Oh, there's rope here. We can't actually pick that up because we're at maximum capacity. So we're gonna have to give Solik some stuff. What you be needing? Solik, can you actually carry more? No, you can't. Brilliant. In any case, we're gonna clean this uh, little patch here. There's some uh, mutated pig rats, I think. Uh, we're gonna do this next time. Oh, well, here we go. See you then. Bye-bye.